Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Welcome to issue 21 of the Spinner Rack. We are now old enough to buy beer. So, Junior, go ahead and walk us into our topic for issue 20. First of all, Brian, I want to go ahead and say oh, hi, Brian. My bad. As always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian Adams. Joining me as usual is... It's too fucking late now, man. Well, fine. That's the asshole in the corner. <laughs> We're also joined tonight by... Carry the camera guy. And... And Johnny Freeze again. Comics from Miss Champion. Johnny That's Freeze. right. Issue 17, we did some San Diego Comic-Con announcements. One announcement we left out specifically, so we could dedicate an entire podcast to it, is again, once again in toys, for the toy people out there, Hasbro and their villainous ways. Did you read their Hasbro announcement, dude? Did you no. see that? No, but as I was telling Carrie, I did not see the announcement, but I did see the Manny Toy Collector thing. No, oh, the San Diego or the Stanley Standover. No, not even that. What Maddie Toy Collector? That thing? all they're they're now telling fans and collectors that if they don't show more support for Maddie Toy Collector online, that there will be no Maddie Toy Collector online. Yeah. Okay. Now, can you explain to people because I just learned about this what exactly Maddie Toy Collector is for people who aren't familiar? Maddie with Col- what it is. Maddie Collector is a spinoff of Mattel. Basically, Maddie Collector is a website for collectors only who are into... Uh, what Maddie Collector does, actually, is produces figures that are not available at retail. They're not available at comic shops. No, it's strictly it's strictly it's, the Hasbro yeah, it's, line, though. It's not like... This, you know, I see this something. podcast? No, 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 no. The, the Maddie toy thing. It is no, strictly Mattel and Hasbro are two different companies. Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, it's strictly Mattel. They're doing, like, Masters of the Universe. Okay. They Ghostbusters. They like Ghostbusters. They have some wrestlers. But it's strictly that brand. It's yes, not, it's it's not, just a, it's not no, a spectrum. It's just Mattel. Everything that Mattel pushes out. They have a specific line targeted for collectors. In order to get... We'll use Masters of the Universe as an example. In order to get the newest figure, you have to sign up for a subscription, like you know, like a magazine kind of subscription. What you do is you pay X amount of dollars per year. And whenever the figure is produced, they might tell you it's available in August and they're not fucking produced the damn thing until the following January. They go ahead and send you the figure because you paid for your subscription. So that's what Maddie Collector is. You're basically paying in advance for figures that aren't even produced yet. And it might not that, be. Yeah, it might not be. It hopes that enough people pre-order it that you're going to get it. So that's what Maddie Collector is. Okay. Um, you know what? I, I, you brought Maddie Collector up. Did you see the Ghostbusters thing they're offering now? The Ecto-1? The Ecto-1 and the Peter and Ray. Oh, dude, I have mine. Totally pre-ordered that already. Yeah, if enough people pre-order, you'll get it. Yeah. According to it. What I don't understand is why not do just a limited run of like a thousand? Yeah. Like obviously, there's a big enough fan base for Ghostbusters that they will easily sell a thousand Ecto ones. Easily. Of course, easily at that price too. So why not it's just like two fifteen? Why has it got to be? But like, it's like oh, in scale know? with because the, the Ghostbusters is like the six inch Ashton okay. figures, so the Ecto one is in scale to fit those figures comfortably. All of them plus all like the. But the back is supposed to slide out so you put the proton packs all that in the nine yards now is Maddie doing those Mego Ghostbusters yeah yeah those are Maddie's no those were actually Mattel those are Mattel yeah because you could find those at Toys R Us right now they're still there you could actually look for the clearance it's not it's Janine and uh, what's his name Sam Hain the pumpkin dude with the fucking firehouse right now it's like 30 bucks it's just like a set though it's not the actual fucking house it's oh, just okay. like a backdrop Oh, so it's like a little cardboard. It's not cardboard. Thing. It is plastic. Oh, okay. But it's just like the front frame. But it's I mean? Janine and Sam Hain and the thing all together. In yeah, one. and one. And Janine yeah. comes in a Ghostbuster outfit with the proton pack and everything. Been cool, but it's like thirty bucks now. Yeah, I would have just bought Sam Hain for like ten. <laughs> but anyway, it's Mattel. <laughs> but we're not talking about Mattel. We're talking about Hasbro. Who are equally dicks? <laughs> <laughs> they can be. So check this out. Hasbro, as you know, produces the Marvel Legends action figures and the Marvel Universal. So, Marvel Legends was insanely huge, to give you some background, when Toy Biz was producing all the Marvel stuff, right. before Hasbro got the license. Legends was, ext- I mean, the best, they were like McFarlane for Marvel, you know, in terms of sculpt and obviously not posability. Articulate, they had good articulation. Oh yeah, but I mean, like, compared to McFarlane, no. But um, Hasbro took over the license, and they started pushing out Marvel Legends shortly after, and they just didn't. They still had the articulation, the passion was there, kind of, but they didn't look as good. There was something about it where it's like the Marvel, maybe the, the packaging for the Marvel Legends toy base were like in the plastic clamshells, whereas the Hasbro ones were on a card and it looked more commercial, so to speak. There's still some love for it, but I, and then Hasbro screwed up because they started producing to, uh, store only lines, like oh the newest, you know, we give you series one through four, 
now Series 5 is only going to be available at Target. Series 6 is only going to be available at Walmart. And they started screwing people over that way. So a lot of collectors got out of it, and it just drove those up more. But then because of Hasbro screwing up so much, people wanted to go back and get the Toy Biz stuff. So the Toy Biz stuff drove up in value crazy. That's why I fucking sold all my Hell yeah. But anyway. <laughs> um, see, I, do, I can let go of some of my shit. So Hasbro decided to take a break with the Marvel Legends. Mm-hmm. And then they started producing the, uh, the uh, Marvel Universe, the G.I. Joe size, three and three quarters. Line took off. Well, they're they're great sculpts. I've exactly. got a bunch of those. They're yeah. they're, they're dynamite. Ex- great sculpts. And then the fact that they were starting to produce obscure characters, characters like yep. okay, let's give you know, hey, here's uh, Beta what's Ray Bill. Be- yeah, Vader, but he came out later. Hercules, Union Jack. He was one of the original. Well, I've got the Invader set. Yeah, I mean that's the bag had Spider Man was one I wanted to find. I still have, I don't have that one yet. No, but I'm talking about like the first runs when they first came out. Right. They. That was one of the first series that actually gave us a regular, the Jean Grey from the 90s, you know, with the orange and the blue armor and stuff. But anyway, like you said, great sculpts, great figures. Collectors were crazy for them. You know, you couldn't find these figures at a shelf. Nowhere. And if you did, they were like peg warmers. All you found was like Gladiator or First Appearance Iron Man. Wolverine or Iron Man, any of the million Iron Mans that Iron they made. Iron Spider. Yeah. But, um, so the Marvel Universe line started taking off. And Hasbro's like, we've got something here. Maybe now's the time we bring back Marvel Legends. So they bring back the Marvel Legends, and they make this huge deal about it. Packaging was completely different. The sculpts were still really, really good. Very overpriced. I have a couple Fair, of them. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Very overpriced. They went up. I, when I was buying the Toy Biz Legends, they were about 7 bucks. Now they're, what, $16 or something? If you're, so, some of them were 30 Yeah, I was just like, this is outrageous. No. And, but you still had those hardcore collectors who were going after. But then it became the Marvel Legend Hasbro line once it was relaunched, became something of a myth because you could never find them in the stores. Worse than the Marvel Universe. You didn't even see pay warmers of Marvel Legends in the stores. Every character was purchased. And they were just like, okay, let's focus a little bit more on Marvel Universe again. So they just kept going back and forth on them until finally it got to the point where retailers stopped ordering Marvel Universe figures because of the fact... Like I worked at retail, so I know how they do. So retailers started looking at, okay... Why aren't we selling Marvel Universe figures? Our Marvel Legends sell, but no Marvel Universe. Well, because you've got 58 fucking gladiators and first appearance Wolverines on the peg, nobody wants that shit. You know, you need to order new cases. But the problem was, and see, Hasbro was smart because they were sending out the cases in equal ratio, you know. You got right. two of these, two, you wouldn't get like nine Iron Mans in a case, you know. It was all pretty equal. But they just, you know, retailers stopped ordering. Then they made the Avengers movie, and the Avengers action figures came out, which were basically Marvel Universe figures in Avengers packaging. And uh, stores ordered crazy amounts of those, so you could find those anywhere. They were not hard to find. So, But that was a problem, because collectors, you know, a lot of people would do it for value. And they say, well, this one's not rare. You can find the Avengers everywhere. I'll buy them later. I'll buy them later. I'll buy them later. So they started saving on the pegs. So the retailers looked at it as, well, you know what? People aren't buying it. We're going to stop ordering it. Stop ordering it, the toy company's gonna stop producing it. So Hasbro went out this year at San Diego and says, you know, we're ending the Marvel Legends line again. And we're also ending the Marvel Universe line. Fans were in an uproar. Then they said, well, we're not ending it, we're rebranding them. Like, Marvel Legends are only gonna be released now. I don't know if you've seen, like, uh, the Iron Man 3 Marvel Legend figures are in stores. No. I mean, they look great. And there's only, like, maybe three or four characters per wave. Or whatnot, and there's a six inch scale or whatever. They look good compared to the little pieces of shit. But um, <laughs> Hasbro's decided that they're only going to release movie only Marvel Legends. So it's like the next ones will be out are Thor Dark World. So Thor Dark World to have a wave of Marvel Legend. You know, and then Captain America I have. A, so every Marvel movie that comes out is going to have its Marvel Legend. Other than that, they won't produce Marvel Legends. Uh, so Marvel Legends is going from being like a s- obscure, mostly comic book based line to just movies. Yes. Then you see, I, there's a picture floating mm-hmm. around. Of Pepper Potts in the Iron Man three armor. I'd rather see the rescue armor. Yeah, yeah really. I, well, yeah, yeah, that's the one I meant. Where she puts the uh, armor, whatever the armor. Well, but that's not Iron, Iron Man three, is what right? I meant but, said. Um, so they're doing that, and then as far as Marvel Universe goes, like I said uh, a couple uh, episodes ago on Comics Remix, when you were there, I was saying I was pissed because uh, I've got pretty much every Marvel Universe figure, and they're all numbered and stuff like that. Which to me, as a collector, drives me crazy. Like in a good way, though. Like, I see something numbered, it's like, yeah, get them all. As opposed to not being numbered, you don't know if you have them all. It, it's whatever it's me. It's like comic books. No, I get you. You get I me, get right? You. Like the Ninja Turtles. You kind of got to the the new ones from Playmates. You got to kind of have a 
a knowledge of what it is and what's on the wave because then you know like okay where does this guy go you know is he part of the wave did I miss somebody that's why I like I like having them numbered but so Hasbro has decided that they're going to rebrand the Marvel Universe line uh, the first year is going to be known as the Avengers which is basically they're going to produce the same excuse me same kind of sculpt they said same quality same everything except it's going to be the Avengers Assemble instead of Marvel Universe because retailers see Avengers we know Avengers. We'll order that. We don't know Marvel Universe. We know Avengers. You know, so that's the hoax. In the following year, they're going to rebrand Avengers Assemble into X Men, whatever the hell they want to do it, and it's going to be focusing on X Men characters, which is still cool because now you'll probably get characters that they didn't make during the Marvel well, Universe. Line. Well, it's good if they do that theme. For example, you can get you know I'm looking at the Wasp statue. If yeah. I recall, there is an old school Wasp character. If you're going to do classic Avengers. You know, rather than movie Avengers, if you could right. go, okay, here's you know. See, but that's the thing. I think what see, they that's haven't what officially announced what's in the line, just that they're those kinds of characters. So they could do a mix. Just they, the branding. Yeah, they could be like, hey, this is the movie Captain America, or this is you know, a Jack Kirby inspired Captain America figure. You know, they might mix it up. But then again, it still could be considered Marvel Universe because everybody's a fucking Avenger nowadays. Seriously, true. You know, you I'm, I'd be more excited. Thing in Avenger nowadays. Yep. Yeah. I still, I'd be, I'm more excited for the X Men version of it because I mean, there's a lot of X Men characters I'd like. Dude, can you imagine a three and three quarters Mojo figure? How about uh, that'd be sweet. Oh, what, oh Hodge. What was the Cameron Hodge. Cameron Hodge. Hodge? Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. That would be cool. I mean, you know, like the. Well, like, I'm sure they've still got some of the sculpts because I mean, they were older sculpts. They canceled some of the lines actually. You know, long, the long shot. Long shot was actually just released in a box set. Because I know they had, they had some of those. It was uh, the Bron costume Wolverine Rogue. In her like the green spend and not the cartoon '90s version with the brown the jacket, 80s. the, the 80s, '80s version, yeah. uh, long shot, and they come with the uh, what Did are they? they come with Warpath. I no, thought they came with Mojo. No, 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 they come with the uh, the X the X Baby Cyclops. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. it's called, they came with that. No, well, so once again, it has potential if they're going to go that route and take from the comic books. If they're going to go just the movies, kind of. Uh, I wish they would have done yeah. just the whole line of X Babies. Box, they yeah. scrapped that actually. It was supposed to be an entire box set. Oh, really? Yeah. Totally they it. scrapped it. I just, I don't know. As a toy collector myself, it bugs me because it's hard to find. I mean, yeah, no line lasts forever, but it's hard to find a good line, especially when you have a line with so many rich characters and so many versions you can do. Marvel Universe, hell. DC tried it with their uh, those DC Universe figures. Yeah, but the there. sculpts were terrible. They, they were horrible. Yeah, they did suck. They were horrible. I and mean, I never really saw. No, I'm not even talking. Wait, those are the Bruce Tim ones. I'm not I talking, know about, what you're talking about the one where the packaging looks like a, a clear hand. Yeah, yeah. And the, but they had great characters. That was the same. Exactly, thing. exactly. And that's what I, it's like. You want those objects? I've got 98 million Wolverines, man. Seriously, give me a Viper. Give me, you know, give me Silver Samurai. Omega Red. Yeah. Well, actually, they did make Omega Red. I well, they they made, but they were crappy sculpts. I right. Mean, they did have some of those, but they were they weren't great sculpts. Or they were the um, I don't remember if they were Toy Biz or if they were the uh, Marvel Legends, but they did have like an the Omega s- Red. Yeah, they, they actually yeah. both. Right. Both lines. Toy Biz produced the Marvel Legends Omega Red, which was fucking huge. It was great. But I still have the original '90s X Men. I've got all those fucking figures, you know. But the point is, it's like it, as a collector, bug it bugs me because it's like, dude. Just keep it Marvel Universe. That that right there, Marvel Universe, could expand so much. You know what I mean? Like it just, or not expand, but encompass so much. You could put so much under that banner. I get why they're relaunching it though under you know Avengers Assemble or X Men or whatever because people recognize the name. The retailers recognize the name. But I mean, yeah, I'm just pissed that they're doing it. I really am. Well, do you think it? Do you think it will be beneficial to the line? Do you think it'll kill the line? Both. Okay. At first, it'll be beneficial because when those first few waves come out, you're gonna see people grab. As now, as a collector, for enjoyment, it's gonna be a bitch because the collectors that are in it for the money and the scalpers, they're gonna be the ones hunting those cases immediately because they're the hot new thing. They're gonna try and turn around selling. So somebody like me, if I don't order a case directly, I'm gonna be hunting for those figures in the store. Wave or two in. Once retailers start ordering more and more of those things, they're gonna be fucking peg warmers, and it's gonna kill the line. I've seen it a million times. You could probably even ask Dennis about. See, it. like, like I said, I think it's going to be. Uh, the, I like the Marvel Universe. I like the the generic thing of it. But if they're going to put classic, once again, it depends the route they go. If they're right. going to put classic Avenger character, how Jocasta. If you're going to take histories of the Avengers and put out these really, you know, Damn. put out put out these these classic 
old school characters under an Avengers name, I don't have a problem with it. And if the retailers are like, oh, it's Avengers, okay, cool, it sells, cool. But if you're going to be, well, here's another, you know, movie line Hawkeye only without his shades or with his shades. They're going to do that. You know, we'll see. They're going to mix it. See, that'll kill it. They're going to mix it. They're going to. That's exactly. I thought they had a great thing going on going on with the Marvel U. The only thing that sucks for me is I got into wanting to collect them like a couple years too late. (laughs) I couldn't find them anymore. I started when they just came out because every there was what five series. Every se- the oh, I series. jumped on it as soon as I saw yeah, it. I jumped on it, it way late. It was awesome. By the time I jumped on it, it was like Iron Man, Iron Spider, Gladiator two. everywhere. Uh, towards the end of series two, I jumped in at the very beginning of season a series two. I'd seen them in the stores, but I was just like, I saw the price, like, dude, seven bucks for a GI Joe size figure when the Marvel Legends were seven bucks. So it kind of threw me off. A see, and bit. I was never a Marvel Legends guy because I don't have the room for them. So I mean, I was always. Yeah, see, I bought a bunch of Marvel Legends. I had all of them. All of the only one I did not have was Toad. There, right. Nobody bought Toad, but then he became big bucks because he was the fucking big one nobody wanted. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, from besides Toad, I had everything till maybe the last wave. I didn't bother with the last wave. Oh, uh, and I sold them all. Fuck it. Got about a couple grand for him. But I was good. I bought statues. Now, what were you talking about, uh, Brian? What was it, Mattel? Yeah. That they pissed everyone well, off well, somehow? I, I kind of feel like that's just pissing on your fan base by coming out and being like, listen, people, if you don't fucking order stuff, the word is not going to make it. And well, I, I see I see the point of it because... I mean, I see the point, but... Is oh, it's like Previews like Magazine, actually. Case, though? It's, it's actually like Previews Magazine. There's some things in there that they advertise... And it'll say schedule to ship, and you see like it's actually a few months later uh-huh. than what the the previews is. And the reason they do that is because if they don't get a specific set of pre orders, they won't produce the item. It's just not worth it. The cost would be too great. Well, like I said, I feel like that's a, why not just do a limited run. You have the sculpt already. Do a fucking limited run. If it fucking sells out, do another run. Because that would make sense. Yeah, no, <laughs> that, that's the problem. It <laughs> would make sense. Right. And the whole because toy fucking business does not is just a monstrous just bullshit. It's you know the toy industry is just it it's, sucks. It's a scam. It really is. It it's sucks. like that's why I don't I don't think I hate scalpers and I actually I don't think because I'm still not 100. percent But I don't think I hate them because okay, like Dennis said, there's no law for this. It's not like breaking the law for you to go in at 6 a.m. and I, buy a toy before somebody yeah, else. I get where you guys are coming from as fans. It's morally deplorable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, well, I don't know once again about your morals. I mean, I once again, we're going we're going back to to you know. The whole scalping thing and all, there's positives and negatives. Right, but, right, right. But once again, it also goes back to, like, because we grew up in the 70s, you know, if that culture, if that mindset existed, we wouldn't have toys as yeah, kids. No, they ma- and also, too, the toy companies made so much that if you didn't get it the first time, you could get it the next time around. Right, we didn't and, ever have Millennium Falcons or Darth Vader's or Right, Ron well, see, this is what I'm getting at. It's so bad. This is where it, that's it, I don't fault right. the scalpers. I fault the toy companies because oh, they know there's a market for there's collectors out there. Why wouldn't you ship two yeah, cases that's what I understand. It's, an it's equal amount? Like, it's not like the scalping market really does anything for the toy company. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. sure they sell out their line, but fuck. Yeah. Now you've created like a secondary market where people are ass raping. Right, and they are more. losing money from it as opposed yeah. to making more. Exactly. And I and, don't know. and what pisses me off is now I have a son, and I'm going to have to start buying him these toys in three or four years. And I'm gonna punch a motherfucker in the face <laughs> over well, Batman figures <laughs> <I believe. laughs> because it's some asshole that wants to put it on eBay for forty bucks, but I just want to open it up and give it to my fucking kid. Right? It's, you know, it's just it's like I said when, when I when we did that toy scalping episode, and I put those Ninja Turtles away, and those grandparents came around looking for the turtles, and they didn't have any, and I kind of felt bad because I probably just fucked the kid out of a toy he didn't have. Didn't feel that bad because the kid wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so once again, it's so had the kid been there, I probably would have went and dug those out and been like, "Do you have either one of these? Do you want one of these?" Right? Because it's not like I was, but but it's just it's kind of like uh, I mean, I will be that fucking parent on Christmas that's kicking another parent's ass for a toy, especially considering that parents just buying it to fucking stick on a shelf to put on. EBay. So now, so now the question once again going way back to is who's created this culture? Has it been the toy manufacturers or is it the the collectors, or is it you know? I mean, who? Why is this? You know, who created this? You know, that's one of God's great. Yeah, issues. there you go. Like, why are the we? You know? Yeah, yep. the egg. I mean, it's a vicious Which cycle. First, I blame it on the fucking scalpers, dude. I blame it on people being like, hey, I mean, if you want know, fuck that. I'm going to blame the toy companies because mm-hmm. they have the money. Well, and they have the means. They're, they have the control. They do. They can say, hey, fuck this. We're going to mass produce the shit out of this because it's sold well and make more money. But. It's just, you know, like I said, in order to ship them in equal ratios. Mm. 
Like, how much money would it cost, Manny, to do a limited run of fucking twenty five hundred or something? Well, I never understood the short the short packaging. I mean, like I said, I don't know the that industry is, that well, yeah, that's and I don't, I don't. Why are to me that's cutting your own throat? You know, mm-hmm. you know, I have a product, but you know what? I'm not going to make it. And, and even if it's a you short pack something, okay? So there's one in every whatever. <coughs> It's not like the company's making any it's extra like money it, on it, it, you know? It's like WWE yeah. action yeah, yeah. Exactly, that's exactly what I was thinking. You can find a shitload John Cena, mm. but you can't find anyone that you really want. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's I see that. It's, it's It goes to any toy line. You always ship more of the popular characters. Mm-hmm. You know, like with WWE, you would ship John Cena's, you would right. ship uh, CM Punk's, or uh, Zack Ryder's. Those are the ones I see. Sheamus, Big Show. Kane, Kane. Lot Kane. Mm-hmm. You know, those are the big guys that you always see. Lot those are all the ones. Brand. Yeah, it's like... Little kid sister, I don't want to fucking Damien Sandow. Why, you stupid kid? Of right? course you do. I, I, yeah, you fucking do. <laughs> you know? I wanted Damien Sandow. Did you see the elite Damien Sandow is coming out? I'm excited for it. But no, they do that. Like, one of the examples that WWE does, and Mattel, and it's funny because it is Mattel that produces yeah. the WWE figures. Some of the ones that are the rarest are the female figures. Yeah. Those are always shipped one per case. Always. And the excuse is, well, it's a girl. Boys don't want to play with girls; they're considered dolls. So the fig- the female figures are actually in there for more the collector, but still sucks because then you're fucking fighting over them. Right, and then, then I have to pay fucking sixty dollars <laughs> to get Vicky Guerrero because the wife wants one. It's bullshit. Dude, I paid forty five for my Vicky and my Eddie, though I got them together. <laughs> but no, seriously, they, that's why they package the females like that. But what I've done, I love the hunt. I mean, any true toy aficionado, you you know, you're a toy guy, so you know the thrill. Maybe not the so find. much of the hunt, but right. the find the exactly. Because the hunt would mean you know you're going to the store specifically right. looking for something. So I don't know if you're more of the hunt or the find kind of guy. I'm both the find. I'm yeah. I'm both. I love both, but it came to the point where it's just like you know what, I don't have time to constantly stop here, stop there. But I'm cutting out the scalper. Right. I'll just order the damn case direct because I'm one of those guys that I want the whole set, the whole set. I would just order the fucking case direct, and I'd do the math. I'm only paying a dollar more than I would at the store. Right. No well, I've, I've, ordered from, I've ordered from Mattel and stuff directly if they have the figure. Right. You know? so, I mean, it's not a big deal to me. It just, you know, it just bugs me that Hasbro, Hasbro's doing that, you know. like. So Mattel I'll, it will be ca- maybe canceling their subscription? Is that yeah. the... Yeah. Now, and how, collector may be going away. Now, and, but, and you have to pay to join that. Yeah. So once again, they're cutting their own throats, totally. possibly it, because you're paying for shit that you're going to get months in advance. Well, not well, not only that, but just the subscription cost. It's, it's almost well, no, like the subscription the, cost is the cost of the toy. Yeah, it is. The cost. Like, oh, I thought I thought you had to pay. No, no, no. Let's say it's a hundred dollars a subscription, just off the bat. Okay. That subscription will guarantee you five figures. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you pay the hundred bucks. Now you have a subscription. The subscription is for the toy. So you're guaranteed those five figures unless they cancel it or they don't produce enough. Okay. And they'll just be like, okay, we didn't produce this so they're still ma- So it's still one. a money maker regardless. Exactly. It's kind of like the, I, I hate to bash Eagle Moss. Who? Because Eagle the Moss. The guys who make these little lead figurines. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I fucking love the Batman Automobilia collection. There's one coming in, uh, There's yeah, this week. Yeah? Just, just one? one? Number 11. Good. <laughs> I think it's the Batman. We have like four at a time. It's overwhelming. Fuck you, 20 bucks a pop. Like dropping a hundred dollars on Batmobiles, my wife wants to stab me in the fucking eye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go home. Because she's right. already angry. It's like you're with, with, with the fin of the I, 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 I was gonna say, Brian, you're gonna be shipping shit to my house too, so <laughs> you know, <laughs> can find out about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start charging you, and that's how I'm gonna afford my no, no, fingers. Here's, here's, <laughs> check this out. I gotta, I gotta put this in. There. I think, I, I think, I, I think, I think I've got a business now, guys. Ship your shit to my house, and your wife still find out, check and you'll pay for my figures. Dude, my girl knows <laughs> that I still buy shit and I ship them elsewhere. Because because <laughs> no, no, she, she does. does. She knows. She's not stupid. But she doesn't see any of this stuff. That's the thing. She never sees any of it yeah. because it doesn't go to the city, and she mm-hmm. doesn't come out here. It goes from here. It's going directly to my storage unit. Um, <laughs> of course, I have nowhere to put it. She, uh, we bought our Six Flags tickets through PayPal. So <laughs> nice. Well, no, God. she knows. Can, I, I, I said, can, can you see where this is going? No, the thing. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Let me talk. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the money. She's looking and she's like, "What the fuck is one Renaissance place? You should beat that out." <laughs> yeah. Well, it's okay. I, he did, I didn't say the city, so. But she's like, "Where is that?" I'm just like, "Oh, that's where I send my stuff to." And she's like, "Okay." So I just I had to throw that in there because you mentioned. No. So, so what I was okay. saying about the automobilia thing is they do a subscription thing where they charge you in advance for things you're going to get. Right. So every month, because they come out fortnightly, as they like to say. Well, that's supposed charged. to be every two weeks. You're getting charged. Yeah, 
you're going to charge forty dollars a month. Now, what I've noticed is that because you can only get a subscription in the UK, here we're fucked. We have to rely on Diamond. Yeah. Or if you're in Ireland, you can get. You know, if you're right there, you can do a subscription. Otherwise, fuck you. Yeah, they won't do a subscription. What I've noticed from their Facebook page, people aren't getting everything. Really? Yeah. People are bitching constantly, dude. Batman Almobilia posts a new picture of the next Batman. I, I see Forty that. fucking people comment like, "Where's my issue eight and seven and six? As a matter of fact, I still haven't gotten two. Where is my free shit that I was supposed to get? Because you know I've already gotten. Dude, it's insane. It's wow. all people bitching, man. It makes me feel like I go on there and comment, and I'm like, "Damn, I'm in fucking good old USA, and I just don't have to worry about this shit." Ha ha ha! You fucking Brit, you know. <laughs> 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 Screw you, you cabbage eating yeah, bastard. Man, you support America very well. <laughs> America. America. Fuck the Brits. That's funny shit. So final thoughts. You're you're just you're looking forward to, but at the same time upset by the disillusion of Marvel. Universe. I'm looking forward to the possibility of what could be done. Like, I mean, they could make some great fucking figures. This line could take off. I'm disappointed that it's ending the Marvel Universe line. But what I was going to mention earlier, these fucking cock smokers, what they did, <laughs> Series 5 is the last Marvel Universe series. And usually every series goes up to like 34 figures or so, right around there. Um, this one's only got like 20 figures, obviously, because they're ending it. But usually what they would do with past waves is let's say you order a case of 12 figures and there's six in, uh, six in the new wave. You'll get your six, but they sometimes repack older figures, mm -hmm. which is why you can still find some of the older figures in the store. Well, they've been doing that for I mean, a since the beginning. Yeah. Right, but there's nothing wrong with that. The thing that pisses me off, though, is, or the thing that was cool was you would see if it's a new figure, whatever series it was in the number, and then the older figure still said series one, series two, whatever it was. With series five, they've done the same thing. They're you know re-releasing some of the older ones again, but this time they changed it and they count them as series five and they renumbered it. So if you want every single number in the set, you've got to go back and rebuy those figures just to fucking have them, just so you have the complete numbering. You know you can't be like oh series one or series five here's number three, here's figure seven, here's figure nine. You know what I mean? It like leaves the gaps if you're a number kind of guy. Yeah, not a number guy. John's just not a guy. I, I could hey. <laughs> <laughs> issue twenty one. This been right. Junior's foray into the dissolution of Marvel Universe and the rebirth of probably a line that's just gonna suck. I gotta go back and finish my old stuff, man. <laughs> Junior's. <laughs> We've lost Junior, folks. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> I'm, that's because we just made him talk for half an hour. We just sat back. Yeah, and basically. This was my podcast this today. My, this, today, th this was his podcast. We all talked enough while he was busy looking at his phone during the last three. <laughs> I'm an important person in my mind. In your yes, I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> in your mind, you're an important person. Yes, I am. So signing out. You know why I'm an important person? Comicsremix.com. <laughs> Check that shit out. My mic. If you like this egotistical <laughs> band that likes to talk about himself <laughs> and how he's important. Comicsremix.com is your hub for. Ever. Shut the fuck up! I'm fucking <laughs> here. If you don't be impotent, you better trust the comic. <laughs> 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 comicsremix.com is your hub for everything comics remixed whether it be social media past episodes interviews podcasts you name it pictures it's on there so comicsremix.com that's where you want to go blog blogs that nobody's updated in ages <laughs> they're ancient yo lazy ass bloggers I don't. Why am I going to blog when I can speak about it here now? The blogging is once in a great while. The man. blog was your idea. Nobody, that was David's idea. I'll blog shit. Nobody reads the fucking blogs. I'll blog. This I is just, a funny word. Blog. I just like to say blog. Yeah. Blog. Blog. I just dropped a blog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go drop a blog. Fuck was it? Five questions with the champ. I just got that from my brain. What? For another issue mm. of the spinner rack. It's always fun. Johnny Johnny Freeze comics remix champion. That's right. Big B. Brian Adams. What does that even mean? I mean, what? I mean, yeah, I know what being a champion means, but does it fucking matter? It matters to me. It matters to, in his mind. As you are an important and person if you, in your <laughs> mind. If you have a problem with me... In his mind, he's then let's go. In his mind, he's fucking. What's to stop three. me from just going and, and buying my own belt and saying I'm not stopping you? Exactly. So why would I want to challenge you for your belt? I just be like, hey, because you can't. You, apparently, I don't have some, remix. Apparently, you have some belt. problem with my no. belt in me. I can cancel true. your fucking segment, and then what? You're not even part of the show. You ain't no champ. This is just taking a horrible we, turn. <laughs> we haven't even signed out, and yeah, hey, right, I know. fire it up. That's right, it's like a fight. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wait, still cheers. Totally. No idea. It's going to be like the old-timey radio shows. The old-timey? Yeah. Old-timey.
Alright, for uh Bob Bill's not dead. It's been alright, we've been procrastinating. We've been procrastinating like a motherfucker to sign off. Alright, I'm Junior, that's John, and I'm champion. playing it. Yeah, the champion, carry the camera guy. Big B. Big B, Brian Adams, that's the host right. of Spinner Rack. The hostess with the mostest. You ain't lying. <laughs> that's right. I'm gonna give me some hostess next door. I fucking told everybody Twinkies were coming back. I know you did. I paid $100 for a box. That's I just ridiculous. found you stupid. That's fuck. ridiculous. <laughs> I will admit that next I, next show. I bought Idiots who paid all dollars for. I bought hostess <laughs> buys off eBay when hostess went down. Did you really? Because well, give him. Of course he did. You motherfucker. We're fighting now, guys. He chimed okay. in with a dick. I'll set up the match. The old lady was pregnant. She wanted hostess pies. Well, that was survival, man. I can't yeah, play no. you there. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> we're done. Sign us off. Or not sign us off. Cut us off. You. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>